Now at its fifth meeting for the 2012 edition, the Sea of Project Southern Italy Agri-Food and Tourism comes to the province of Potenza. The project's mission is to promote the excellence of Southern Italy with a host of targeted actions aimed at reinforcing the image of food and agriculture products and the richness of the area's tourist appeal. What CFT is promoting is an avenue lined with relational and professional opportunities, enabling chambers of commerce to guide and assist the growth of small and medium-sized enterprises wishing to open up to international markets. And this is to be achieved by offering a quality platform on which to demonstrate the value of networking. The project has a strong impact and has grown significantly over time, as demonstrated by a number of significant figures concerning participating companies initially 50 and now almost 200 in 2012, and the number of buyers involved, starting at around 20 and now reaching about 100. The 10 Chambers of Commerce that are partners in the CF project, headed by Matera, are Potenza, Crotone, Cosenza, Foggia, and the new entries Chieti, Latina, Syracuse, and the Regional Union of Molise. And above all, the economic operators in the individual provinces, who are all motivated, active, and involved, make the CF project a rich and varied showcase of excellence, revealing the best of the provinces involved, with a focus on food culture as the epitome of the warmth and hospitality that is typical of Italy. An outstanding culture to be promoted, defended and safeguarded. After this year's launch on the 14th of March at Union Camera in Rome and following the four meetings held in Manfredonia, food and beverage and Euromed food, Gaeta dedicated to nautical tourism, Matera dedicated to tourism and Crotone to olive oil, the Potenza event draws its inspiration from the close ties between wine and local territory. It is no coincidence that the backdrop chosen for the initiative is the ancient extinct volcano called Monte Volture, an area where culture and local specialities blend perfectly. Featuring the castles built by Holy Roman Emperor Frederick II, cellars dug out of the natural tufestone, and lakes that have formed in the extinct craters, this land is the birthplace of an important red wine, Alianico, drawing its strength from the extremely fertile soil that is also rich in potassium and from the characteristic of the temperature range of the local microclimate. Sea of Wine in Potenza will provide visitors with an opportunity to get to know the local territory and the protagonists of its distinctive wine-making culture and time-honored traditions. So here is a brief taster of the provincial territories present at Sea of Wine in Potenza. mountains, hills, lowlands, rivers and nature reserves contribute to the variety of the province of Matera, rich in history, culture, traditions and outstanding food and agriculture. A treasure trove to be discovered, symbolized by the ancient Sassi districts and the rocky habitat, a World Heritage Site since 1993. Abruzzo, a strong and gentle land, a description that perfectly sums up the province of Chieti, where the outline of the Maiella Massif looks out over the radiance of the Adriatic Sea with sloping valleys and hills washed by mountain streams. Archaeological sites, sanctuaries, beaches and nature reserves are all testament to the region's perfect fusion of nature and culture. The millinery history of the province of Cosenza is still visible today in its numerous archaeological finds and monuments and the historic town centre of its 155 municipalities. 
The province has 228 kilometers of coastline on the Tyrrhenian Sea to the west and the Ionian Sea to the east, although its main feature is its mountains and hills. The province of Crotone is steeped in charm with backloads ranging from the pearly colors of the sea to the intense greens of La Sila, punctuated with lush vegetation and traditional farmland. When speaking of this land, great riders and travelers say how the intense blue of the sea merges into the sky, how nature alternates with ancient forms of civilization, and how green trails lead to the rediscovery of churches, monasteries, castles and fortresses where traditions, art, gastronomy and folklore are preserved. La Capitanata hosts the second largest area of lowland in Italy. The very tourist offering of the province of Foggia covers three different macro areas. The Tavoliere Plains, Apulia's lowlands, the Gargano Promontory and the Daunia Sabapenine Mountains. Such diversity highlights the synergy between the traditional sectors of seaside and religious tourism and the attraction of the region's archaeological monument and historical cultural heritage, as well as its landscape and environmental resources, arts and crafts, spas, food and wine and lake tourism. Latina's Long Province embraces 33 municipalities covering 2,225 square meters. Historically, the province has attracted tourism from Rome thanks to the lure of the Gulf of Gaeta and has always caught the eye of European tourism. The area's rich and varied beauty is characterized by a mild climate and excellent landscape resources, including the Circeo National Park, the regional parks of the Arunci Mountains, Monte Orlando and Monte di Scauri, and the blue oasis which stretches from the sea overlooked by Monte di Scauri to Sperlonga. The territory of the province of Potenza is a kaleidoscope of flavors where agriculture and pastoralism reveal authentic simplicity and respect for ancient traditions. In addition to the provincial capital, other places to visit are the La Grancia Historical, Cultural and Environmental Theme Park, the Gallipoli Cognato, Piccole Dolomiti Lucane Regional Parks, Polino National Park and the historical towns of Melfi, Lago Pesole and Venosa. Basilicata Tyrrhenian coastline spans just 30 kilometers of small beaches, inlets and caves surrounded by unspoiled landscape. It is a much esteemed tourist destination. Sicily is the land of oranges and blossoming earth, whose air in springtime is densely fragrant. And the entire province of Syracuse is a unique place in which converge the blue sea and green countryside, not to mention the endless array of colors and flavors that this generous land has to offer. Molise is the youngest and smallest of Italy's regions. But despite having only two provinces, Campobasso and Disernia, it offers a surprisingly varied landscape. Beaches and skiing resorts, nature reserves, hilltop fortifications and medieval citadel towns, Samnite and Roman archaeological sites and sacred baroque art, a treasure waiting to be discovered and a haven of peace and tranquility. The ten provinces of central and southern Italy taking part in Sea of Wine in Potenza have a kaleidoscope of beauty and uniqueness to offer. The short film items, along with all they evoke, provide a context in which the initiative's ambitions can now converge more tangibly in terms of contacts, deals and commercial opportunities. On the 25th and on the 26th of June, operators and international buyers are meeting in the heart of the Vulture territory, an area that is a strongly characteristic of the food and agricultural production of this district.